Double on that, ready? Bedford first, Double up to scratch. Round number one. Both fighters did you see in the white trunks. Blue wraps for the champion, Johnny Bedford. Red wraps for Dak to win. Break, Immediately break, to break, the break, inside. Break, break. Off the rope, off the rope, break! Hey, both of you, when I say break, break with some difficulty break, for Dan Mergliata. Right, let's go fight, knuckle up. Right back to it. Jack to the body. Bedford hands low, stepping in, left hand, right back to the inside. Yeah, and you can just tell he's a physically a stronger fighter the way he clenches up and pushes that straight backwards. Bedford snatching the underhook. Come on, ready? Hands up. Buckle up. Bedford right back to the inside, eight or right hand. Continuing to throw single-mindedly, Chris Bedford coming to the inside on the clinch. I think that's smart right now, doing what he can to wear out that win. That's why I feel like he had the biggest advantage in this in this fight right here. Snapchat for Bedford. Wynn still trying to get his offense going. Eats that short right uppercut, but now playing. Oh, oh he landed right back right with there. a smile on his face. 55 seconds remaining, round number one. And it's Gwynn coming forward. That is ruled a slip by Dan Mergliata. Straight jab from Bedford. Turning on the pressure here. Second half of round number one. This is with the overhand right. But those counter punches are coming out perfectly for that win right now. He's those seeing are... everything that he wants to, and he's throwing hard punches afterwards. And those are big shots right, to the body right, from right, the right, mid-range right. for that to win. Right, right. Separation again with some difficulty for Dan Mergliata. These guys are expending a lot of energy. 15 seconds remaining in a ferocious round number one. Entry on the lead left hook for Dak to win. Bedford now pushing the win back, back against the ropes. Wait, you gotta hit, guys, you gotta hit. You heard, Bergliata, you've gotta hit. It has to be an active clinch under the BKFC rule set, where the fighters will be broken. On the stool, on the Next mat. stop, round two. Hands up, ready? Buckle up. Round two begins, and the wing steps forward into the pocket. Bedford taking a backward step again. That's what that the win told us. I've got to make Bedford move backwards. Bedford into the clinch. Overhand right from that the win. That just seems a little bit quicker to the punch right there. Bedford to the body on the turn. The win hands high. It's the left hand and the right. Straight and went two from Bedford. Johnny's doing much better when he gets off first and tries to push that push back that backwards. The win coming forward again into the clinch. Break, please don't strike. The numbers from punch stands up. Ready? There's a lot Move of on. punches being thrown by both guys right here. Johnny Bedford has a better percentage, but Dad Witt is a busier fighter right now. Fighters nearly going down. And the win does. Rule the slip, of course. Turn around. Buckle up. Overhand right on the entry. The pace has obviously slowed a little bit. They really put out a lot of punches the first round. That was audacious from Nguyen. A lead left uppercut and the overhand right. That's a combination you'll see in boxing, but not in MMA. Now the left hand, Nguyen unloading. Showing some creative striking in these sequences and taking Bedford off balance. And Bedford on cue fires back with a step in overhand right. Nguyen firing back with a right hand of his own. Walking forward in sequence. This is phenomenal. This is exactly what we thought this fight would be and why we wanted it so bad. Now 20 seconds to go round number two. Put it in a straight line hand without the jab. He's got him in a chokehold right there. What did I tell you? But still break, I say break. Hands up, ready? Back it up. Ready? Clean, clean, guys. Knuckle up. Berkeley Auto with emphasis. That win nearly caught the oh, guillotine. Ready. Interesting sequence, Chris, at the end of round number two. All right. Bedford cupping that up to win. Put a little bit of a Buckle guillotine, up. a little squeeze actually yeah. on, but then Mergley Auto wanting to win because he did not actively right fight it. He's standing in there and right holding here, it as right well. Here, right here. Round number three. And there was some good advice from that win's corner telling him he needs to jab his way in. Furious start from Bedford. Landing the right to the body on the uppercut. Huh. Knuckle up. Back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. Back back in the clinch, up. not active. Dan Marcelado ordering the break. Buckle up. Went back into the mid-range. Bedford trying to walk down that and win. 
Bedford off of the jab. 1-1-2 one, one, right back to the overhand right for Dad to win. Dad doing so good with his head movement, dropping it down, and as he comes up with that head movement, he's firing punches. Watch your fingers to the throat. I'm not going to warn you again. Fingers to the throat is the warning from Dan Bergliotta. Referee speak, that's called a hard warning, meaning next time it's a point deduction. Bergliotta making it clear to Dad to win. Smear of blood now in the face of the champion, Johnny Bedford. Chris Bedford just seeing punches, sequences from Dat to win. He's never seen in either his MMA or bare knuckle career. Absolutely, and these is weird because they're not even traditional boxing punches, so that's what makes it so so weird and difficult to deal with. You, you haven't seen these punches, even in tapes, you don't know how to prepare for them. Keep it clean. Looking to throw off with the counter. Back hey, against the ropes, back the break, there's break, the separation. Clean. Back it off, back it off, Ray John, hands up. Buckle up. 35 seconds to go round number three. Both fighters entering the pocket simultaneously. Nearly a clash of heads. Win again on the one two. Bedford with the overhand right. Stepping in again. Oh, that was a clever left hook. Went to the body. Now clowning Johnny Bedford. Straight jab. And, and point out exactly where he hit him. Went on the duck under. Right back on the entry. Watch your back break. Clean, don't strike, don't strike. Thank you, ready? Knuckle up. Final seconds, round number three, and that is the bell. Johnny Bedford trying to successfully defend his BKFC 135 pound world title. Knuckle up. And a victory would also give him the inaugural Police Gazette Diamond Bare Knuckle 135 pound world title. The win, looking to go 3-0 in BKFC, playing two titles. Ferocious thus far between these two men. They both definitely had their moment, and the moment now at hand for Bedford stepping through. That win is hurt. Those two punches hurt. He did a good job of faking like he's not hurt, but he's, he's hurt. Bedford again, trying to snatch the tie puck. Bedford is a black belt Brazilian jiu-jitsu, and you see the pummeling, you see the infighting. Yeah, he's doing a good job of utilizing right, that right now because he has to. Can't hold on the rope. Johnny, can't hold on the rope, right? Telling Bedford he can't hold on to the ropes. 1.15 remaining round number four. Win. Again, a clever combination. Leading with the left to the body, finishing with the left to the head. Straight right hand, naked right from Bedford without the jab set up. Win to the body. Half plum, there's the uppercut. Now the underhook from Johnny break, Bedford break, controlling break, that to win. Break, watch Man, I would not watch like to be a judge in this fight. There's so much up. going on. So many punches are being landed by both guys. The fighters back to the center of the ring. Leaping with the left hand for Johnny Bedford. His hands are getting lower and lower as this fight progresses. Just missing with that uppercut. His hands on the left. His hands are getting low, but he's still winging him and landing him when he wants to. Five seconds to go round number four. Right, 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 from clean, Bedford. Not on, active enough. Line. He could not Ready, land the uppercut. Broken up by Mergliotta. Straight right hand from Bedford and Nguyen walking through it. Nguyen missing with the lead left hook. Closing stages round number four. This is an extremely even competitive fight. The champion Johnny Bedford versus Dat Nguyen, and we move to the fifth and final round. All right, gentlemen. That was a sporting touch of hands. Clean. Final round, 10 seconds, ready? Knuckle up. Round number five. You know, it's amazing. I don't care how much you dislike a person. After four rounds, you've kind of earned each other respect in here. We're coming forward. Right hook to the body from Dat Nguyen. I really like it when Dak comes behind two jabs and throws that right hand. Seems to work for him very well. Time called by Dan Mergliotta. Hey, scissors. Uh, the pair of scissors. Cut, the man. fraying of the wraps on Bedford's right hand. All right, I got you. All right, let's go. Let's go. Don't no go. histrionics from Dan Mergliotta. Fight. That's why he's the best combat sports referee working. Saw a problem, solved the problem, right back <laughs> to it. The win. The 1-1-2, one, one, Bedford with the right hand. Bedford starting to throw that right cross, Chris, without the jab. There's the jab now from Bedford. That right hand lead. 
Slowing under both eyes on Johnny let go, let go, Bedford's let go, let go. face. Let go, let go, let go, let go. Got that chokehold again. Yeah, right? His face relatively clean, but he has taken some thudding shots from Bedford. Yeah, I'm not really sure how his face isn't marked up at all. Down the stretch we go. 55 seconds remaining. Fifth and final round. Still nothing decided between these two outstanding fighters. Extremely close, extremely competitive. Johnny Bedford is utilizing the reach right now. He's kind of in a position where he can land and, and Dak cannot. Dak needs to step in. He can't stand outside. He needs to be more in that mid-range. Just a rear right uppercut for Bedford in the last sequence. Overhand right lands from Nguyen. Went off the jab, 1-1-2. One, 1-2 one, two. One, two in the right lands, big from Nguyen. But for taking a backward step. Bedford trying to step back into the pocket. Now it's Nguyen taking the backward step. Bedford comes forward, walks through that left hand. Closing stages of this great co-main event title fight. Both fighters looking for one more significant strike. The jab just before the bell. And that Whoa. is the end of our co-main. Man, that was exactly what I was hoping it would be right there. Those guys stood in the middle, they, they went toe-to-toe, -to -toe, they Good mixed fun, it up in all different fun. aspects of fighting, and they put it on the line. Once again, I would not like to be a judge in this situation right here. Three judges scoring, assigned by the Florida Athletic Commission on the 10-point must system. There's a good jab being landed by Dak, or Johnny, and, and an overhand to be landed by Dak. Like I said, every time one guy landed a punch, the other guy answered. That's such a rarity when that can happen. Just, just swinging for the fences at all times, these guys were. I mean, usually you get tired, you can't continue to do it at that rate. They, they did a good job of keeping that pace. After completing the scheduled five championship rounds, here are the score totals from our judges at ringside. Alexander Levin and Michelle Olney both score the fight 48-47, and James O'Connor scores the fight 49-46 to the winner by unanimous decision. And new BKFC 135-pound world champion and Police Gazette Diamond Bear. 135-pound world champion, Dak B. Dak wins! Wow, what a fight. Like you said, you'd like to think in the fight like that, there are no losers, but in this situation right here, that win got the victory. He got the belts that he wanted to get. He went out there and took care of business. It was a very close fight. Sometimes you really have to kill a champion to beat him, but he did enough in the judges' eyes. Our final numbers from Punch Stat. Look at that. Almost 300 punches thrown by Dat Win, 250 by Johnny Bedford. Both guys with a very, very high output right there. You can tell that when we watch a fight. Unbelievable fight for me. I don't, I don't know.